Hey everyone, it's Mike. I review Nootropics and during this video we're going to review two products and do a little bit of a comparison. These are two of the giants when it comes to nootropic blends. Uh, the first being Alpha Brain and the other being Mind Lab Pro. This is a completely unbiased video. I've had no communication with either on it or Mind Lab Pro and I'm going to let you know if you are going to invest your hard-earned money into a nootropic blend, which one is the best. Um, so what are these two products? There are nootropic blends, meaning what they've done is they've made a nice formula of a number of nootropic ingredients. Nootropics meaning supplements or smart drugs that are going to enhance cognition, basically allow you to have a better brain. And a better brain makes you a more productive self and allows you to better realize your potential. A lot of people ask whether or not nootropics are right for them and whatever ambitions they have. I think the answer is yes, because nootropics can make you learn faster. Let's say if you're a student, if you're in sales, they will help you to crank out more calls. I'm looking at the Alpha Brain website and it lists the benefits as supporting memory, promoting focus, aids mental processing, and helps with flow state, also known as being in the zone. Alpha Brain supports memory, focus, and cognitive processing speed. One thing I can definitely appreciate about Alpha Brain is that it's been around for a while, I think 2011, and because of that, there's a lot of good experiences that people have posted about, which you can really easily find on the web. This person here says they took Alpha Brain solely before studying in preparation for exams, and they noticed that the information they learned was more easily accessible than information they learned without Alpha Brain. And that's what some of the ingredients in Alpha Brain do promise to do. There is research showing that it may help you to retain the information. So in the future, when you need to recall that information, you can quickly recall it, which of course makes this really good for students. And then taking a look at MindLab Pro's website, and it looks like this is the only product they have, which is good, meaning that the company and the founders have really only invested their energy and research into this one product here, MindLab Pro. They say that the nootropics are working in six biopathways to optimize a wide array of cognitive functions. And then they even go on and list these and they associate it with the relevant nootropics. So we can see energy, brain chemicals, blood flow, brain waves, neuroprotection, and neuroregeneration. And then at the top, what they've done is they've listed the 11 nootropics that are going to be responsible for optimizing whichever of the six pathways. And we know this is somewhat accurate and they have use research while doing this because energy you can see is not linked to Bacopa or Lion's Mane. And I would definitely agree with that because there's no real research that Lion's Mane or Bacopa do enhance energy levels. I've done a lot of product comparisons, but this is a really difficult one because these are two very, very similar products. MindLab Pro contains 11 ingredients, whereas Alpha Brain contains 10 ingredients. Both of the products are caffeine free, so they're specifically designed around making you more productive, not really enhancing workout. It's specifically around cognition and being more productive. But the big difference and really important difference is that MindLab Pro does actually disclose what they're putting in the product as far as the ingredients and the dosages. Whereas with Alpha Brain, we know which 10 ingredients they're putting into the formula, but it's hidden behind a proprietary blend. And this makes sense because Alpha Brain is marketed more towards people who probably don't know too much about nootropics. You've likely seen this product promoted by athletes, and I know Joe Rogan has talked about it on YouTube, which got a lot of attention. Whereas MindLab Pro, we've got a little bit more of an informed audience, but um, what I can share with you is for both these nootropics, I think they're great if you're new to nootropics or even if you're a little bit experienced. Me, myself, I've tried a lot of nootropics, yet uh, nootropic blends still do have their part into my regimen because sometimes I may be traveling and I don't want to bring all my nootropics with me and it's a lot more convenient to take a bottle like this where I just take two pills per day. And as further evidence of how similar these two nootropic blends are, you can see that both products have a serving size of two capsules, whereas their competitor, Qualium Mind, contains seven capsules. And if you haven't seen that video, you may find that informative. I did a comparison video between Alpha Brain and Qualium Mind, which I will link right here. Comparing the costs for both products, don't quote me on this because prices can change, but as of right now, it looks like Alpha Brain is $80 for 45 day supply. So that would be two capsules per day. So a 90 capsule bottle for $80 ends up being something like $1.70 per serving. And with MindLab Pro, it's $69 for a 30-day supply, so 60 capsules, and that ends up being $2.30 per serving. With both products, it's absolutely fine if you take them every single day until you finish the bottle. As a matter of fact, I think that's what they would prefer you do so that you can really give it a proper evaluation. So I would really recommend that you do give it a proper trial. Don't just take it those days when you may need it, similar to how you would treat coffee. Take it for a 
consecutive period so you can really evaluate whether or not it's helping and if you want to get more in the future. Because with some of these nootropics, they may not work the first day you take them. They may work like three weeks after. So it's often been reported, especially with Alpha Brain, that people don't really feel anything the first week, but by the last week, their memory is better and their concentration is a lot better. And breaking down the ingredient profile, this does make sense. Like nootropics such as Bacopa, for example, do have data supporting that it helps with memory after at least a couple of weeks of ingestion. So if you're somewhat new to nootropics and you're looking to be a bit more productive, these can likely help. I'm looking at the nutrition labels for both products side by side and honestly they are so similar this is very difficult to choose which one is better but I think MindLab Pro wins for a few reasons. I will point out though that it's interesting there's um, I think five or six ingredients that are contained in both products being vitamin B, Bacopa, phosphatidylserine, both have a form of tyrosine and they have L-theanine. Some of the important differences between both products Alpha Brain has four times more vitamin B6 contained. This is especially important if you're a vegetarian or you're somewhat concerned about your vitamin B levels. This is going to give you a nice energy boost. Furthermore, they both do contain choline. Choline is found in egg yolks. It's really responsible for helping you with um, fighting fatigue, basically like mental energy, making sure you're sharp and you are your best self throughout the day. It's been said that if you're going to take any nootropics, be sure to supplement them with choline. And both do contain a form of choline. MindLab Pro contains acetylcholine, whereas Alpha Brain contains Alpha GPC. I actually prefer the form in Alpha Brain, Alpha GPC. It seems to work more effectively for me. Like I mentioned, both products do contain Bacopa Minieri. However, MindLab Pro has 150 milligrams of Bacopa Minieri, whereas Alpha Brain only contains 100 milligrams. This is honestly a pretty low dose, so thumbs down to both companies. I'm usually taking 300 milligrams of Bacopa twice per day, so 600 milligrams in total, because that's the dose shown in most research that did positively affect people as far as their memory and as far as fighting stress levels. That's what Bacopa is. It's an adaptogen. It helps you to better tolerate stress, fight stress, have a higher capacity to tolerate stress. And this is one of the more effective nootropic ingredients contained in both blends. And here's a big distinction between them both is that MindLab Pro does contain organic Lion's Mane Mushroom. Lion's Mane is probably the best nootropic out there in the marketplace to actually feel smarter, help you with decision making, help you to think more clearly, and even improve things like planning or some of your relationships. It's very unique. And so I've seen a lot of people go out and get Alpha Brain, then realize it doesn't contain Lion's Mane and then they have to purchase it separately, which perhaps makes it such that MindLab Pro can then be justified as being a little bit more expensive. It contains 500 milligrams. This is a pretty good dose actually. I've got two of the most popular Lion's Mane products here on the market. This is by Fresh Cap Lion's Mane and this is Real Mushrooms. Two really, really good companies and great products for Lion's Mane. And for both products, similarly, each capsule is 500 milligrams. Looking at the next ingredient, we have phosphatidylserine. This is contained in both products. And what this is responsible for doing is reducing cortisol levels. So cortisol is a stress hormone that you never want to have too much of it. It will store body fat. It will make you sluggish. It'll cause you to have brain fog. And it's especially useful if you're sleep deprived. A lot of people do report it boosting their physical energy, also their memory as well. So what's great is that we know how much we're taking here in MindLab Pro. We have 100 milligrams, which is a decent dose. Whereas with Alpha Brain, unfortunately, we don't know how much we're taking. Here's the next ingredient contained in both products, which is um, L-tyrosine. So in MindLab Pro, they have the N-acetyl version, N-acetyl L-tyrosine, and Alpha Brain contains L-tyrosine. Tyrosine is an amino acid that's found in egg whites, but when you have it free form, so exclusive of other calories, it's really going to enhance your concentration, boost your energy levels, and help you with focus, and it will specifically help you under stressful circumstances. So it's really good if you practice intermittent fasting and you want maybe something to take for a little bit of an energy boost. And it's also really good pre-workout as well as intra-workout. I prefer the form in Alpha Brain L-tyrosine over N-acetyl L-tyrosine. I find that L-tyrosine seems to last longer and it's actually more effective when it comes to mood. And I've talked about that extensively in this video here if you want more information on the differences between them both. It's a really powerful supplement and 175 milligrams of N-acetyl L-tyrosine like which is contained in MindLab Pro is simply not enough. And so I think Alpha Brain wins with respect to tyrosine. The next ingredient here in MindLab Pro is L-theanine. This is responsible for really calming you down, helping you to be relaxed, yet at the same time productive. It's very 
commonly taken along with caffeine. People report that when they take a stimulant like caffeine along with L-theanine, it helps to remove some of the jitters, some of the bad side effects that you may get with caffeine and coffee consumption. It's contained in both products. They have 100 milligrams in MindLab Pro. That's a decent dose. Whereas unfortunately with Alpha Brain, we don't know how much L-theanine we're taking. And the next ingredient here in MindLab Pro is Rhodiola rosea. This is probably the best nootropic you can take for fighting fatigue. I think it has a place in everyone's supplement regimen because it will pretty much allow you to have an extra three to four hours of productive work done during the day. If you want a pill that replicates a nap, that's how rhodiola feels. It feels like you get this mental energy boost, you get this physical energy boost. It even suppresses your appetite to some extent. I'm browsing on examine.com. There's also research showing it improves subjective well-being, which pretty much means that studies suggested people were in a better mood. There's improvements in attention. There's even a slight decrease in some depressive symptoms. However, there isn't a very large dose like this study suggests over here when they did a clinical trial of rhodiola rosea on depression that the subjects were using 340 to 680 milligrams of rhodiola rosea per day whereas unfortunately in MindLab Pro although it is contained they only have 50 milligrams which is definitely not enough and I would need to take like 10 capsules to feel rhodiola rosea like I typically am. Looking at a couple of their competitors with respect to being nootropic blends, Qualia Mind contains 300 milligrams of rhodiola rosea, whereas Cognetics contains 200 milligrams of rhodiola rosea. And then the final ingredient contained in MindLab Pro is Maritime Pine Bark Extract. This is gonna help with blood circulation. There's some other research showing that it's a very powerful antioxidant and is good with anti-aging. I'll admit I'm not taking this one on a daily basis, but this one nootropic is beginning to get a lot of attention and I'm sure that MindLab Pro has a good reason as far as why it is contained. We've looked at MindLab Pro and something that I really like about it is that all 11 ingredients are going to be effective. Whereas with Alpha Brain, unfortunately they have, uh, you can say fillers or some supplements that may not help with respect to it being a nootropic, but may just help for general health, maybe as an antioxidant. There's a few examples of that, like oat straw extract. Um, they have L-leucine, which is a branched chain amino acid. I'm not sure why they put that there, as that's known to help with building muscle. And it contains maltodextrin as a filler, which if you have diabetes, you should do your best to avoid maltodextrin. And for that reason, I'm pretty much gonna say that MindLab Pro wins. All the ingredients are great. The doses are a little bit better. They have the lion's mane, which I especially like, and they have the rhodiola rosea. So that's my take on these two nootropic blends. Alpha Brain and MindLab Pro. Have you tried either product? If so, then do comment below and share your experience. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, click subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you all next time.